Hi all, welcome on Dev Stack. So till the last video of the Node.js module, we created an endpoint for the adding a profile data. But I were told that we need to create a different REST endpoint for the storing a profile image to the backend. So in this video, we will work on that particular endpoint and we will see that how we can create a URL for the image and how we will update the image URL which we created on the last video and we put the image URL as a default and we will update that thing on this video. For that we need to first install the multi package. With help of multi package we will upload an image from the front end and we will store the image on the back end. So you just have to hit the npm install multer and it will install the multer package onto the package.json file let's install it then we will see that how we can use the multer package after installing the multer package and uh, we can see over here we have to go on to the profile.js file then we have to just import the multer package and after importing the multi package we have to create a instance of this multi package so i created a multi package instance over here and the name of the instance is upload so in the multi package we have a property called storage with help of these properties we will define the path where we will store the image and what will be the file name that will be Define using this storage property. For this, we have to create an instance for the storage, and uh, we have an instance of the multer to this storage. And here we will define the file name and the path. So to define a file name or the path, we have a parameter called destination. So destination will take a request and uh, file and the callback function. In the callback function, we will just return a null and dot slash upload. Uh, this is the folder where the image will be stored. With help of this destination property, we define the destination of the storing of the image. Once we will test this. API then you will see that here uh, in the main folder a slash upload folder will be created where all the image will be stored so the second thing is we have to define a file name I mean what will the what will be the file name after uploading an image like if I will upload my profile pic from the front end then the name we have to change the according to the username i mean we need a unique file name for each of the profile picture so that at the time of finding a image from the back end i mean for the particular username if we will find a image then the unique user uh, the unique file name will be easily findable so with help of this file name property we define the file name the username dot jpg format then we have to just specify this storage onto this particular parameter then we have a additional property called limits so the image can be the size the size of the image can be higher i mean the size can be 10 mb 15 mb and we can specify the limit of the file size like this i mean i provided a uh, image file size 6 mb 124 kb into 124 kb means 1 mb into 6 is equal to 6 mb so with help of limit parameter we will specify the file size limit and last property we have to use is file filter so with help of front end we can upload any file like image file 
PDF file, docx file, any kind of file can be submitted over the URL. But how we will filter the image file? So using this file filter property, we will filter the image file. Again, we have to just create an instance of this file filter over here and it will same take a request and file and callback parameter and in the file filter property we have to just provide a condition if the file size if the file meme type will be image or jpeg or else image slash png i mean the image will be jpeg format or in the png format then we will return a true as a callback so if the callback is true then only the image will be stored into the database else we will return a false on the callback so if i will provide a file filter on here so it will check the file filter first then according to the file filter it will store the image now the multi instance is successfully created we just have to create an endpoint for the adding an image for that just go below and we have to create an endpoint so my endpoint is slide at slash image and in the it's a http patch method because we already in the add method we already defined a image as a default empty url now we just have to update the image url over here so with help of patch http request only we update the thing so i already told about that using get we will get the data using post we will post the data from the front end to back end and using patch we will update the data so over here and uh, we have to just add the middleware of check token first using this we will get the username and we have to use this multer instance over here i am using the upload dot single and uh, so using upload dot single we will upload a single image file onto the front end and the single image file will come over here so we have to just do the update query over here we already imported the profile schema in the last node.js video and uh, in the profile schema we will do the query find one and update with help of find one and update we will update the url of the image parameter so we just have to first check the username so with help of this check token we will decode it uh, we will get the decoded username and we will query the unique username into the database using profile schema and if we will find the unique username profile data then we will just update the image path so, i mean the image url so the file dot path will come from this multi instance because we already provided a destination and the file name and we added that middleware of the multi instance over here so with help of that the request dot file dot part will be updated and it will store the new image part onto the database then we have to just set the new as a true and uh, here we added this thing and just let me go over here so if the image path is successfully updated then we will get an instance of the user and if the image path is successfully not updated then we will get back an error so if we will get an error then we have to just return an error using status code of 500 to the front end and if we get a successful result it means no any error happen in the back end during updating a url then we will send the message to the front end developer like image added successfully and the user data 
uh, and it will be not a user data it will be a profile data and uh, we have to just update it I mean the profile data which we will get back from the profile schema so it will be a profile data and uh, we will send that this profile data onto the front end with help of status code of 200 so it's mean the uh, successfully the URL is updated and we are showing the front end developer that this data which we are getting or the image added successfully is also we are adding onto the message but for the finding a path we just need a one thing we have to create a path instance over here because we are using the request dot path over here so with help of path only we will get the path URL I mean we have a module of the path in the JavaScript so with help of that path module only we will get the exact path over here so that module is also important to import it and now we completed our endpoint creation hit the save and run the npm run dev and we just have to test this url and if we will upload a image from the postman then automatically there will be a upload folder will be created and the image we will send from the postman will be stored over here let's test it and see the result so let's test the url the endpoint into the postman we just had to provide the exact endpoint name and uh, we have a header and in the header we already have the token which we used in the last video and go on a body parameter and just change the raw to form data and in the key we have to provide the exact key which we are using so what we are using here we are using a image as a key and we have to use this thing onto the key and we just have to change the here we will get a name like this but for, okay now we get and change the text to file because we had to upload a file from the front end and uh, we have to browse the profile image then click open and now we hit the send and just wait it and we are getting that profile add image cannot and the issue of this okay the issue is because I am using a post method because we had to use a patch method over here and again send the file so maybe we need to create a upload folder first I forgot I think just let me create upload folder in the main directory not in the root directory in the in the just main directory so let me create upload folder now the name it's upload uploads okay so and just go on the postman and again send it now we get the data and the image URL is uploaded or changed successfully so now the URL is created we just have to do a one quick thing and our URL will work fine on the browser also just go on to the index.js file and in the index.js file we will add a middleware we will add a middleware uh, for the making this uploads folder as a static to make uploads folder static in and if we will make uploads folder static then it will be accessible from the URL also so let's create it and we will use our app.use 
and in the app.huge we just have to provide the path of the uploads folder and in the express dot static method we have to provide the uploads as a parameter because with help of this express dot static method only we will make this folder as a static and it will be accessible through the browser also so hit the save and just go on the postman and just copy this path and if we will check this path on the browser let me go on the browser and first let me add the http localhost the base url which we are using and 5000 and uh, we have to provide this and if i will hit the enter then you can see the image which we uploaded on the back end is now easily accessible on the browser it's mean that using this url now we can get the image and uh, i'm not uploading this whole code onto the heroku because in the heroku if i will upload all the images the storage of free user will be exhausted so from now onward we will do the development locally and we will use the local host for the testing on the web app or on the blog app so thank you all in the next video we will work on the blog app ui first so i am just making a video of node.js and flutter alternatively because you will engage on the both the coding i mean in the ui development and the back end development sometimes it will happen that some of the subscriber who forgot the node.js thing and he or she have to recall the thing so that's why i am making this video once flutter then one node.js so you will engage on the both the project thank you all happy coding and see you on the next video don't forget about the subscribing to this channel because i am working hard and i think your subscriber count will motivate me daily and uh, i will stay motivated and i will upload video daily thank you and happy coding